up now. Um, you can see I changed the, uh, the profile from part one a little bit, made it a little uh, puffier, and I kind of tapered the bottom down a little bit so that it's easier to stack. Uh, over on the right, I've uh, made a duplicate and stacked it. And these are all linked to the original. So if I change anything, those others update. And I didn't duplicate the coffee because I just wanted to show stacking. Um, my spoon looks a little small, which is making the cup look huge. Um, so I'm going to do, uh, first I'm just going to change the size of the spoon. And I just selected it in the browser and I'm going to go up under my modify and say scale. Um, and then it's asking me for a point. And this, when you do T-spline things, little points are a little bit um, uh, arbitrary. It's not really logical where they'd be. So maybe that's a tad too big, but let's just do that. <clears throat> now the spoon feels, make, it makes the cup look a little smaller. I think it's also too thin. So I'm gonna go way back in my timeline and find the thicken. And you'll get used to these little icons, but this is the thicken. Um, so I'm gonna edit the feature. And then here's where it shows me and the dialog is way over here. And again, make sure sometimes these dialogs are um, just closed. They're not actually um, uh, approved of. So you have to look for those. Sometimes they're hidden um, thickness. So I got 0.15 and I've got a cup here. I'm gonna measure, and I think it was a quarter inch. So it's 0 0.25, 0 0.25. And that just gives it a lot more thickness. And this will, I think, um, and then when I'm done with this, I have to, um, oh, I did hit return, but this little calculation bar over here, there's a lot of operations going on, including those uh, embossed and rotating and stuff. So it's, uh, I'm watching that little blue bar over there and it's gonna take a few minutes to, to get through its um, pieces. And we'll just wait here. Wait, something's happening. And when this finishes, <clears throat> Um, a lot of times what I'll do is I'll actually move this little, whoops, sorry, this, uh, this little black play bar, uh, right up next to that, um, feature and then go edit that feature. And then when I hit return, it'll just go that one step over to that bar. And that way I don't have to play out the whole thing before I realize that it may be too thick or not thick enough or something or other. Now, every once in a while something breaks, um, this looks pretty good, but my, um, my radius is now could be radii could be adjusted. They're a little flat on top. And so um, if I think if I select one, it should give me a little kind of highlight in the menu bar. And so I'm going to right click on that one and say edit feature. And oh, this is going to take a long time. I'm going to cancel that and just leave it as is because uh, <clears throat> it'll have to render it all up again. So uh, let's see, I was going to add a quick um, saucer and a napkin and I think we'll be done. Oh, and I I didn't uh, explain this uh, embossing thing, so maybe I can just walk you through this instead of doing it all again. Uh, I think it is, let's see, sketch plane um, right there. Nope, I'm gonna go back further. Doop, doop. Uh, then it must be this one. Yeah, okay. All right, so first step I did is I made a new sketch plane, offset sketch plane, and we can't see that right now because the sketches are off, or construction plane, sorry. So there's that new, I just pulled that out from the center, and then I inserted an SVG onto that plane and resized it, and there it is. And you can see it's kind of hovering in space. And you can't edit these um, because they're locked. That's what the green is. So don't worry about trying to move something in here because you can't. Um, and then I extruded once um, where the I just selected the, the inner letters and they're all connected with this little bar so it makes it easy but I could shift click um, other pieces. And then um, I extruded that out and then I extruded the, um, the next one in and let's edit that feature just so you can see what that means. Edit feature. And so this is, um, I, uh, I selected the profiles and then I said, start from object. So that's what this blue selection is. Um, the object is selected. Um, I could unselect that and then select it again. That's the object I want to start from. 
and then offset, don't worry about that, that's if you want the whole extrusion to be floating in space or something rather. Direction, we want one side, um, and we want to put in a distance, and some there's some other features in there. And so I just did 0.01 negative, which pushes that in, and then I said cut instead of join, and OK. And so now I've got the um, outer uh, trap line of this is embossed in, or debossed, and then the, the letters are embossed out. So it's a kind of a two-part embossing. And I tried to do stuff like this before with Fusion, not Fusion, uh, Rhino, and it doesn't like when you have two operations that are accessing the same files and that overlap. But the beautiful thing about this is like these letters are twice as tall as that embossing is going in. And so that's really like two operations, but there's no division in there. Um, and then I colored these and I think that one I missed, but I'm mean, again, keep going. So then I did a rotation feature. And that is, um, I selected these uh, two, boy, there's, that's probably what the, um, uh, the slowdown is here. So I might even delete that rotation feature, but um, uh, it is repeating all of this on the opposite side. <clears throat> and this little spinning bar is saying, okay. So that means that there's another one over here now. Um, since I'm not going to see that, like I said, I'll just delete that one. And then um, what was next? I'll just play this out. Oh, and something happened with my color. Uh, so, like I said, things break sometimes, but that's fine. You can just go back and fix it. So now i got to use faces because I just want this big face to be yellow. And notice here, I'm, even though I've, those are direct copies of the other one, it um, closed that. Oh, and this changed to white, but I actually like that better. <clears throat> so I'll just go with that. So, um, so now the Colossal logo is not on the back. And um, let's save this before we go too far. And now I'm going to um, make my saucer and my napkin. Um, the saucer is going to be pretty straightforward, so I'm going to. I had this idea for a napkin. I'm going to try um, to go over to the um, create menu again and uh, the purple stuff and just make a uh, what is it? Plain, plain right there. And so I want a napkin, and I this would be good if I knew how big I wanted this napkin because I could just put in some dimensions. But I'm going to eyeball it for now. Uh, three, you know, something like that. And I'm going to put in a couple more um, uh, segments in both directions and just say, OK, so this is going to be my napkin, but I want it to have a little more life. So I'm going to copy it. So I double clicked it, copy, and I'm going to paste it, paste. And so that should make a duplicate right on top of the other one. And so I'm just moving this one slightly up. And I'm going to connect these edges to make it look like it's folded over. So um, before I do that, though, I'm going to select all three of these and just raise this up a little bit and rotate it. Um, maybe bring it in a tad. Uh, I don't know if this is going to work, but we'll give it a shot. And then I'm going to bridge between the two. Um, I could uh, just weld these, but I'm going to try the bridge tool. And I just clicked it here. You could. Uh, Look, if it's not there, it's in your menu item. So I'm going to select one whole edge and then the next edge. And this, you don't have to uh, select which is which, and the arrows are going the right way. So um, I want, usually I just do two faces. That gives me one line in between. And now I can play with this a little bit more. Um, I'm going to put some cloth texture on this. And uh, maybe this can scoot over also. And I've seen that there's there's a little too much information here, so I'm just going to delete that edge, get a little bit of a softer transition. Um, so I'm going to push this over here, and then this one I'm going to push way over here because that fold is going to be kind of um, more abrupt. And then again, I'm just, again, trying to just get a little bit organic, not perfect. Um, and I'm just grabbing random lines and stuff, and uh, maybe I'll make a little higher point here. 
lower point there. I don't know. And then because this is just paper thin right now, I'm going to give it some thickness. Um, but maybe I'll move all these pretty. I'm going to expand it on the outside. So I'll put these kind of close together, but not touching. Um, and so now I'm, I'm, I could do this in the um, finished form and then give it thickness. But uh, I'm going to do it in here just Sometimes, well, actually, let's just do it in there because it's um, it's easier than I, if I go back and adjust this, um, the thickness will change too. So uh, that, and then, oh, we wanted to make a um, saucer, but maybe I'll do the saucer uh, using the cups uh, geometry. So I hit finish form, and this went pretty quick because my menu bar was way down here. Um, let's finish this up. So I'm going to take that and modify, create, thicken. And then I want to go on the outside and maybe like 0.05, just fabric's not that thick. And um, okay. And here I've got these uh, harsh edges, so I probably want to put a little radius on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna do these edges first. This one, this one, and way over here. Ah, come back here. Uh, that one and that one. I'm gonna push these in a little bit more than. And the nice thing if you do these first is that makes this second radius a lot easier because it makes a full loop. So I want that one and that one now, and it automatically went around those radius corners. And what did we say? This is 0 .0, 0 0.01 maybe? Um, three? And let's go two. Okay. All right, this looks a little bit, I might need to mess with it more, but let's put some material mostly is what I want on here. So uh, to appearance, and there's some cloth in here, leather and cloth, and let's go cloth. And then they have some um, pre-colored ones and you can recolor them, but let's see fabric green, red, yellow. Let's see what yellow looks like because we already got our, um, and it looks like the mapping is in the wrong direction, so it's doing something kind of weird, but we'll fix that. Uh, but let's let's make the texture just a little bit bigger, and um, then I'll fix the uh, orientation. So I'm going to close this. I have to fix this um, the orientation in the render environment because the tool is there. And <clears throat> use this. I don't know what this is supposed to symbolize. This little diamond. But um, projection type, we're going to go to um, planar. And then it's asked us first the axis. And I think I want this one. Yeah. So that's going straight up and down. So it's projecting down onto this. Actually, what's going to happen is that might stretch around the corner here, you can see. And so sometimes box for something like this might even be better. Yeah. There's a little stitch along here, but you can see the fabric looks a little bit better. All right, there's my cloth napkin, and um, so maybe it's a little tall compared to, I, I don't know, I, I should measure a napkin, really, because um, this cup, even though it looks pretty big, is actually just a cappuccino size cup. So this whole thing is actually kind of smaller than you'd think it would be. Um, uh, so let's go out of here. We're almost done. And um, I'm going to put the spoon just on this just to... Uh, make it more interesting and I'm going to move that so I want to move a body and notice again my arrows are going all kind of weird so if I go up under my bodies instead and I think that's the last one I made so let's move that down and uh, just kind of centered okay and then my spoon is if I select it once usually oh yeah that's a whole separate because I brought that in it's a whole separate um, component so I move that copy over here, and I gotta get that. And this, I, there is some align tools, but I think usually I just kind of eyeball check. And it's okay if it goes in just a tad, or if it's just a tad out, but you don't want that. <laughs> so um, where was spoon over here? And instead of moving again, I'm gonna edit that move. Um, whoops, no, let's cancel that. Oh, uh, where? Duh. Oh, that's weird. All right. Well, let's 
just move it again. <clears throat> I probably need to uh, rotate it down a little bit so that handle is actually touching the fabric. I'm going to go around this way. Wee bee 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 bee. Ten. Whoops. Oh, that's okay too. I wanted this one. And see how it's jumping sometimes. Um, so I'll see that. Oh, that's two degrees. So I just want it less. I'll just type in a number. <clears throat> and then let's do a quick um, saucer, and then we'll be done. So I'm going to go way back in time. Actually, let's do this again. So this is. Let's save it. And then I'm going to move my little timeline just right up to this feature again. So this is kind of that, um, the ability to check. Uh, let's go a couple. We'll go back to the thicken operation. So I just have that cup. <clears throat> and now I'm going to go back and edit this feature. And sometimes what I like to do is like this is supposed to fit into this. So I'm going to actually select this whole edge. Select one, double click the other, and I go with the whole loop. And then I'm going to do the same up here, but I can't, it's kind of weird, I can't do that twice and um, because it selects sideways. But, it, oh, actually, I could do, um, let's do this again. Oops. Select one, double-click for this loop, and then the shift arrow up, and then I got that whole thing. And Because I want the saucer to fit in this, so I'm going to um, uh, copy this. And last time I did it crashed right here, so um, I'm going to save again. And I'm going to wait for that little uh, dialog box over. You can see a little spinning arrow on the box. There it goes. And now I'm going to paste and see if we got it. Yeah, we got it. Okay, so this is a new body now. You can barely see it because it's right on top. Um, so I'm going to go back into my bodies. And notice I'm back in time, so there's less stuff here. Um, so that's the coffee cup and this is now my saucer so I'm going to grab this edge and edit form this will ensure that that new uh, the saucer um, fits the cup fits exactly into the saucer and so maybe a little bit less than that let's go smaller and then usually they kind of angle up so your your uh, spillage goes into the center that looks good and then uh, I'm going to Move this down a little bit. This doesn't need to be as high. <clears throat> and um, I could close this up here. Um, I do need to make this just ever so slightly bigger because um, that you don't want the cup to stick in there. So you need a little bit of offset. So I'll go oversize and then go 0 0.02, let's say. OK, so that should be a little thicker. So there's my saucer. Um, and uh, the cup is not there. Turn it back on. That should. Whoa, something weird's going on. It's going all the way to the center. So let me um, turn off coffee and body one. And yeah, something weird happened here. It went all the way to the center. I don't know what I just did. Um, undo that. There we go. I think I resized something wrong. So now this looks normal. I just was undoing. OK, so now let's turn things back on. And this was a little too wide. So let's go back in now. I think what I um, when I went back, see how it's actually, oh, that's what I did. See, this is, um, I'm shrinking it now. It's 0.9. And I did 0.02, so it just shrunk it down into the center. So 0.95, actually, let's just do that. OK. So now let's finish that form. <clears throat> and now I just got a little thin um, shell, and I got to thicken that. So modify, nope, create, thicken. Boop. And here, um, I'm going to thicken to the outside so that I don't get this interference on the inside. And um, what did I just say? 0.25 was the, um, wow, it's pretty thick. I'll just go 0.2. Oops, and I just only thickened one surface, so I, I gotta grab both of those. So let's try that again. Repeat thicken this surface and that surface and that surface. Nope. 
cancel one more time. Are these not joined? Maybe I gotta join these. Um, so I'm gonna go into the surface menu because that's what we're dealing with. Modify, stitch, and they are actually stitched together, but um, I'm gonna add the radius before I thicken it. Uh, fill it. And here, this is kind of dangerous because as I thicken this, in this case, this is gonna thicken outward, so that radius is gonna get bigger, so this is okay. But if I thicken it um, on the inside, actually the radius will get bigger as well, but sometimes they crash over themselves and it, uh, it won't let me um, do it. So I need to patch this up here too, so modify, um, create a patch, and just select that one edge. Okay, and then I gotta stitch those, and I could see there's a little interference because this cup is, I should have moved that down a little bit, but let's just deal with this. Uh, modify stitch this and this together. Okay, and let's thicken this. And I should probably put a little ring on here too, but um, we won't see it, so I'm not gonna worry about it right now. Uh, create, thicken, and now I gotta make sure I got this and this. I don't know why it's having a problem. I think that got everything. Uh, 0.02 is what I said? No, 0.2. I noticed that it actually that radius did crash over itself, but I think it's smart enough to deal with it. Yeah. So um, now I'll throw some more fillets on here. Modify. It. And I can do the fillet in the, um, uh, in the, what's this mode called again? Surface mode. Or I could do it in a solid mode. So that looks good. Oops, I just went a little too far. The last second, uh, let's repeat fillet. Because I undid it. Uh, that, that, and that. And in this case, I'll just go 0.01. Oops, once again. Point one. No, point oh five. And here, sometimes I just change the numbers until it works. Seven. All right, we'll stop there. Okay. And now this is going to change my scene a little bit because the bottom of this is a little thicker than my napkin and everything. Um, and notice that that went pretty quick um, because I didn't have one of the other operations in there yet. Uh, so one more time, modify appearance, and um, we'll color this the same. Uh, or let's do this white because the inside's white. And say close that and finish this. So here I can just uh, play bar all the way to the end, fast forward. And this will take a second to calculate everything up. And like I said, I'll have to move my napkin down a tad and those uh, two copies, or I can move both of these up either way. And this will take a minute. And I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna stop it here and render it up and then you'll see um, what it looks like because we've already got a good idea and I don't want you to wait for this little bar. So thanks for watching, this is Brian. Um, oh wait, it did it, hold on, yeah, okay, there we go. Um, so I don't know why my spoon moved back, but, oh, cause I got it. let me show you that one more time. So that's the napkin. The spoon doesn't have a, a move thing because this is a separate component. And so uh, I'm gonna go back into solids, move this like, one more time, and also resized it, but I have to capture that all this, um, so that's that. And then see this up here in the end, it says position. I don't want to capture that position and then that will permanently put it there. Um, I don't really understand why, but it'll remember where you brought it in and, and that's the position it's going to be in. And then I scaled that up. And so this and, um, oops, now I got combined. All right, you know what I'm talking about. I'm going to render this up, but I'm going to stop it here. Thanks for watching. This is Brian Galassa.